welcome back to another video today we're shopping at harbor freight we're going to be looking at the new tools yes new tools and uh, the two deals that they got this month don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing hitting the like hitting the bell icon so we can buy more tools like this make more to review videos it's the way youtube is a platform my subscribers and likes so help out this channel by doing so all right they got 25 dollars off instantly when you buy the tool the charger and the battery so it's a nice discount here um i do have this impact wrench this thing's a beast it's like a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say a mid torque, but it's, yeah, it's kind of like a mid torque and a, just a regular impact wrench, 99 bucks, and then they got the 3 8s here. I guess that some, for some reason, the 3 8s makes more um, foot pounds than the half an inch. I have no idea why. Um, I believe the torque test channel uh, had that, uh, tested those two tools. Got 34.99 for that. Uh, battery and then you got this impact wrench here. It's a half an inch impact wrench uh, Mainly for the DIY if you if you already have these batteries, then it's worth it for you But if you don't um, I would I wouldn't buy this tool. It's, it's way too much um, Plus you can get uh, as much, you know torque 450 foot-pounds with the other impact wrench and It's half the size so the other ones, you know the newer ones you got $24.99 for that, $17.99 for this one. This one's a 220 lumen light from Hercules. Like I said, if you're already on this line, if you already got these batteries, then it's worth it. Now, this is a really nice thing to have. I do have this one. I'm into the battery line, but you're able to power this one with the 12-volt um, cigarette lighter. So $49, bucks, that's a nice one. Um, and every every time I get asked how do I cut my packages and do unboxings, well, this is the tool I used. Uh, $34.99. It's a four volt cordless power cutter. So you guys know, you know, those batteries come in that thick plastic. Well, that thing will cut them easy. All right. So you got the spotlight there, $37.99. Like I said, if you're already on this line, you know, it's worth it for you. If you're not on this line, then I wouldn't definitely would not. You know, buy it. There's other, you know, better deals. You guys could probably better bundles and, and you know, four or five two complicates. You guys could get somewhere else. All right, twenty four ninety nine for the quarter sheet finish sander. All right, you got the. Uh, these are newer. These are not new, but they're newer. The the last ones they added to the to the line here. It's a ten inch dual bevel slider, two forty nine. These are really nice. Um, I used to have this uh, Admiral. If you guys notice the difference on these miter saws, they, they do have the bevel on the front. Most of the miter saws, they have the bevel on the back. So you have to reach all the way to the back to, you know, change the bevel. But these have it on the handle on the front. If you guys look at the handle there at the at the front, very front there, there's a black lever there. Well, that's the that's the bevel uh, control there. So 319. Yeah, that, see that one right there. That's the bevel. And the angle one is just the other one, like like regular, like a regular miter saw. But yeah, that's the that's the big difference in between these miter saws and you know your other miter saws. So I would definitely check these out. These are very decent miter saws, very good, even for pros. Very nice miter saws. All right, sixty nine bucks for this reciprocated saw. It looks like it's a brushless. It's an updated model. Got a working light there, LED. And then you got this jigsaw on sale for twenty nine ninety nine. It's a five amp uh, corded. So if you, if you want a cheap jigsaw, then there you go. All right, you got this uh, circular saw. It's a really small circular saw from about fifty nine bucks, fifty nine ninety nine. It's four and a half. Got the oscillating tool, fifty nine ninety nine. All right, you got the oscillating tool blades. Eight ninety nine. This is a uh, bimetal. So these are cheap guys. I don't know if you want to buy a, like if you got a small project. I don't know if you want to buy the whole you know the whole package that you know mostly most of these come by. And then just buy one of these and you know get that project over with or finish that project and you know get on your way there if you have a Harbor Freight if you're already on the Harbor Freight uh, store. Six ninety nine for these. Uh, um, Actually, that's the wrong. That was in the wrong section. I uh, got magnetic socket tray, seventeen ninety nine. So that's a nice uh, 
and yeah guys this is the new uh two box or yeah two box basically that they had a new two box color so they got the the gray with black i really like the gray with black if you guys do they got all those colors if you guys are following me this channel following me uh since the beginning on this channel uh, you guys know that i already have i used to have one of these the blue one now uh, that thing was solid no complaints whatsoever probably the best thing ever made at harbor freight this and the the floor jacks um but yeah these are completely solid guys really nice casters everything the locks i have no complaints whatsoever about this box um this is the one that i used to have the blue one it was really nice and then they have the red one actually you guys don't know i did buy a, a, a toolbox on clearance you know one of those toolboxes that i kept telling you guys to get in and, and look at those lobes you know up on the racks and stuff like that with those model numbers well, I ended up getting one of those boxes, those Craftsman boxes, the red ones, and uh, I was looking for some accessories here, so I'm going to do a tour review on that, hopefully soon. 17 I didn't have for the 40-piece carbon steel. So these are for, like, doing threads on external and internal thread extracting, so all kinds of stuff like that. So twelve ninety nine at AP's screwdriver set. Uh, it does have, like, a... Like a metal head so you can strike it and pry it or whatever you want to do. Thirty-four ninety-nine three piece professional universal joint socket adapter. These are professional according to them. So this is their professional line. So it's going to be a little bit more pricey but it's it's a lot nicer. It's very comparable with the higher end tools. The tool truck um, companies basically. Thirty-nine ninety-nine for that one. And then $37.99 uh, $37 for the three eighths. All right, you got the 14-piece race uh, combination wrench set, uh, 1999. It's actually a really nice set because it does include those bigger sizes that you don't get with the other, you know, the other uh, combination up to one and one eighths. And then you got 14-piece, the same thing. You got the SAE and metric. Guys, if you guys haven't used these uh, impact sockets, I do recommend you guys get them. This is a must-have in every garage and every house. These sockets are, pair them with your uh, Milwaukee, with your DeWalt Impact Wrenches High Torques. They will take that beating and they will fit really nice. So, $12.99 for these uh, trays. These are silicone trays. And then you got some, and these are, this is like a new section by the way, new tool section or new product section that they have. Um, that's a light, yeah, Quantum is very solid so. It's cheap and it's solid. The only thing I don't like like about some of these is the you know you have to put batteries in them, guys. Yeah, does this look familiar? Yeah, it does. So it looks just like the Royal B vacuum. So there you go. So it's eighty nine ninety nine. Uh, comes with the filter, some accessories there. Seven gallons of fuel on the, on the line already. So you know you got a vacuum there. Thirteen ninety nine for the pliers. These are solid. I've I had these for years. You know, this brand is solid, so I'll definitely check out that brand. $29.99 for the 6-inch flush cut pliers. They actually sold out on those. $69.99 for the 8-piece precision snap ring pliers. This is a professional set. That's a nice set there, 8-piece with the case. And yeah, guys, these batteries are really cheap. They're, well, not really cheap, but they are cheaper than your normal brand brad berries, so... Yeah, so you guys look at the prices. The most the most expensive one they have is fifty nine bucks. It's a five ampere battery. So definitely check it out. They, they do have quality sales in them. Just to let you know, they do have quality sales. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there where they take them apart. They some of these have Samsung sales. So I do have uh, more from this brand, and it's been solid. I have no complaints whatsoever. Batteries are a hundred bucks. Um, they're not gonna be more than a hundred bucks. So. Uh, that's 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 a good thing. Same thing with these. Thirty four ninety nine for the smaller two point five. These are quality Samsung cells. Five ampere battery. If you guys don't know, Hercules is their top of the line. Uh, you know, drills and power tool uh, brand basically. Got a combination. Bauer is their mid mid grade. Same thing with these. Vulcan is their top uh, grade welder or welding brand. So. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but it does have some nicer features in here on this uh, 
helmets. So definitely check it out. And this is the clearance section, not the clearance, is the as it is section that they call it. So this is the stuff that people return and they, you know, or the, you know, they just use it once and they return it. Then they put it up for discount. So you can talk to your manager. Um, you know, just talk to them, take the box to them, and just look, hey, you know, would you take 10 or 20 percent off of this? And they might help you out on that. Like I said, most but most of the people they just do one project and return the tool. Guys, yes, guys, these are the new uh, modu Bauer modular storage system. Uh, just like every other company that's, you know, Craftsman, Milwaukee, DeWalt, uh, Hart. Well, uh, Harbor Freight does have their own brand now of uh, modular storage systems. Uh, you got pretty much a full line here. You got the rolling toolbox, the bit large toolbox. You got the modular storage tote. Yeah, it's like mill crate, basically. You got a modular organizer, $34.99. You got a modular toolbox, a small toolbox. Uh, you got a large toolbox for $39.99. And then you got the modular uh, rolling toolbox, $69.99. So not not too expensive. Quality quality wise, I think it's it's a little better than the Craftsman from the from the way I felt it. So um, the not the Versa stack, but the the Pro, the, the other one that they call it, like the Pro stack or the Pro something. Um, but I think it's a little bit. It's 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 gonna be in between. I was I would say it's gonna be a little less than Dewalt, obviously, but it's gonna be around rigid. I would say rigid uh, quality here. About rigid quality. The only thing I don't like is these latches. So these latches are kind. Of, I I don't I don't really like these. You know, I like to set my, my my boxes on top and not worry about them. That they locked or did not lock. I, I just hear the snap and they, they lock. That's the way I like my latching system. So, um, I guess it's okay. If they have a sale on these, then I'm pretty sure, you know, there's there's a place for these. Obviously, because they are high quality. The, the plastic is pretty rugged. You got some nice um, metal latches there. So, um... Yeah, they feel really solid. This handles everything. I'm wondering what uh, Hercules, which which is their top of the line brand. I wonder what kind of toolboxes are they gonna have, you know? But yeah, this that's the way it looks from the bottom. Like I said, really rugged, really nice uh, built. You can probably throw these around in the back of your truck and shouldn't worry about anything breaking. All right, so eight ninety nine. You got professional. Basically, just like the the Milwaukee uh, switchbacks, or yeah, basically a copy of those. And you got these lights. This is 500 lumen lights. These are really nice lights. Um, I personally haven't tried these. Uh, they're brand new to me because I had never seen them here before. Uh, you got a hook there. You got a charging uh, a charging cable there. So 39.99 for those, and then 7.99 for the 120 lumen flashlight. Now these are not rechargeable. The other one was rechargeable, not this one. So uh, you got some light bulbs there if you need some for the garage, or some uh, recessed retrofit lights. Seven ninety nine. So always, guys, if you guys need tires for your dollies and your 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 wheelbarrows and all that, check out Harbor Freight. Check out their four ninety nine. They're on sale. So stock up on these if you if you know if you have an older. Dolly, you need to stock up, but watch out for the sizes because that's a big foot. That's for the big one. So, a uh, regular dolly size is eight inches. I'll show you guys one right there. It should have it. That's for the wheelbarrow there for 29 bucks. That's a good deal for that for the wheelbarrow. But yeah, for the, the regular dolly size is uh, eight inches. So, if you got one of those bigger dollies, and check out my video for this. I don't know if you guys um, see my videos, but um, I did have a video back in the day. Where I used this thing to unload because I was doing um, remodel my house and I was, you know, I was, I was putting uh, tile and and block and all kinds of stuff. So I've used this like around I would say about about five times with heavy loads. I mean really heavy loads. I, I think yeah about five or six times, and I've used it and it's worked fine, guys. It worked really well. 
However, if you're a professional, if you do this every day, I would not recommend it. Because it's probably, you know, some of those parts are plastic, so they're not going to... By the way, these are the sales that they're going to have until the end of the month, so make sure you guys check those out if you're interested. But yeah, if you're a professional, I wouldn't use that. Um, you know, I would maybe buy a couple of them because they're, they're really cheap, but um, I would definitely buy something better. But if you're, you know, if you do remodels occasionally and you, you know... You know, you you take you know a couple trips down to the to the landfill a couple months. You know, you know two in a two every month or something. That should be good for you. You got the new Jupiter uh, pure sine wave inverters. Now, this is something I was looking at too, because um, I I uh, do have a solar system. I don't know if you guys know, but back in the day I used to have I used to make a lot of videos about solar systems. Um, I still have my solar system but I was looking at these these were really hard to find really pricey to find back in the day back in the day something like this was like 500 buck, bucks right now you can get some Chinese ones um, but you know for this for 200 bucks I think that's a really good deal especially if it's a pure sine wave inverter uh, if you guys do a lot of RVing a lot of camping even if for job site like charging your batteries from your truck or something these are great little inverters that could definitely help you out. And they are, they are pure sine wave inverted to 2,000 watts. So, you know, if you're on the trades, if you're camping RVs, definitely check that out. This is a smaller one. This is 750 watts. I personally would go with the bigger one. You always want to have more than not enough, you know. Yeah, and these are more discounted uh, stuff that they had at the front of the store. So this is like a metal chop saw for 91 bucks. Uh, you got the hammer drill here, a rotary hammer, demolition hammer actually. Um, I used to have one of these. These things are solid, guys. Yeah, guys, so sometimes they'll have these uh, items at the front of the store, like a discounted uh, items. So they'll have anything from compressors to generators, all kinds of stuff. Make sure you guys look up for these purple, the orange tags. Um, they got these. These are the new uh, colors that they have. Well, this one's not new, but they do have different colors in case you want to match it with your with your toolbox and your you know your your uh, lift there. And this this is pretty much all the colors that they have. So 169 for these. Yeah, the guys. These are the new floor jacks that they have. These are the Daytona uh, racing jacks, professional racing jacks. Uh, you got the two ton there. You guys do see really nice, really nice finish. These are all aluminum. So definitely check them out. You know, guys, Harbor Freight is one of the better um, places to come and get your uh, floor jacks. They got all kinds of floor jacks, different sizes, but these are just the newer ones I'm showing you guys. This is the 1.5 ton. So guys, definitely check them out. Not crazy prices, so 129 very very good prices on these. And then you got the breaker bar for $15.99. Yeah, it's on sale. This breaker bar is solid. It's, you can use it professionally. Uh, this is one of the better tools that they have. So definitely check it out. I do have this one. I have so many years with this one. And it's worked fine every time I use it. And uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Lots of good reviews on this one. And then they have this one. This one's just a normal breaker bar. Uh, $11.99, so about 12 bucks. So that's pretty good on that. Guys, that's going to do it for today. Don't forget to help out this channel by subscribing, hitting the like, hitting the bell icon. So we can buy more tools like this, make more to review videos. That's the way YouTubers apply for my subscribers and likes. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.